Good morning, children. How are you all? Hope you are doing good. Welcome back to the math class for grade one. Today we are going to continue with the same chapter from term two, ribbon stamp two book, chapter one, numbers up to hundred. In numbers up to hundred, we are going to learn some of the few topics. Numbers on the abacus, greater greater than, lesser than, and equals to, ascending order and descending order, cardinal and ordinal number. First, we will learn numbers on the abacus. Look at here, children. We use this abacus to count the numbers. This is an abacus. This abacus has two spikes. One spike represents as ones. Another spike represents as tens. In each beat, this is the beat. Each beat in ones place represents as one ones. Each beat in ones place represent as one ones. Each beat in tens place represent as one ten. So one ten plus one one is equal to eleven. If I add three more beats in tens place, one, two, three, and two more beats in ones place. See here, each beat I told it represent as one ten. So one ten, two tens, three tens, four tens. Four tens is nothing but forty. So here ones place each beat in ones place represent as one ones. One two three. Three ones is equal to three. Forty plus three is equal to forty three. Four tens. Three ones is equal to forty-three. Now we'll solve some of the sums in the abacus. Look at your children. Now match the beats on the abacus with the number. Okay, so you have to count the beats. As I told you, one each beat in ones place represent as one ones. Each beat in tens place represent as one. Ten. So in one space, just count how many beats are there. Two. That means you write two here. Now count here. How many beats are there? One, two, three, four. That means this is four tens. What they have given? Match the beats on the abacus with the number. They have given the number here. So forty-two. So you can find out where is the forty-two. Four tens. Two ones is equal to forty-two. It is below. So just match forty two. Now second one. Look at here. Count how many beats are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Write six here. And in tens place, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven tens, six ones. Seven tens, six ones is equal to seventy six. Can you find seventy six here? Yes, it's on the top. Just match seventy six. You are counting the beats on the abacus and writing the numbers, and you need to find out the number here, and you need to match. Now look at you. Third. Now count how many ones are there? One, two, three, four, five. Five ones. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tens. Eight tens five ones is equal to eighty five. Where is eighty five here? Yes, just below the ninety nine and above the forty two. Just match eighty five. Now count here in ones place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine ones. Again tens place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine tens. Now nine tens, nine ones is equal to ninety-nine. Where is ninety-nine here? Yes, just below the seventy-six is ninety-nine. Now look at here. Draw beads on the abacus for the given number. You need to draw the beads. On the abacus for the given number. 
they have given the number here you need to draw the base zero zero means it doesn't have any number so you no need to draw any base here six draw six beads 1 2 3 4 5 6 That means one, two, three, four, five, six. Six tens, zero ones is equal to sixty. Now look at your tens place and ones place. In ones place, how many number beads you need to draw now? Nine. Draw nine beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, you need to draw nine beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In tens place, what number is there? You have to do like this: ones and tens. Okay. Tens place five. One, two, three, four, five. Five tens, nine ones is equal to fifty-nine. Now look at here: seven and seven. In ones place, you need to draw seven, and tens place, you need to draw seven. Draw seven beads: one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, seven ones. Again, you need to draw seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven tens, seven ones is equal to seventy-seven. Now we learn about greater sign, lesser sign, and equal. Look at your children. Already taught you. Fill in the blank with the greater sign, lesser sign, or equal to. Okay, what do you mean by greater sign? A big mouth is open for a bigger number, and this point, sharp point, will be facing towards the smaller number. If both the numbers are same, you have to write equals. Now look at here. first one, twenty, twenty. See here, here also zero, here also zero. In one tens place also two. That means it is same. So what sign you need to write? Equals. Okay. Now second example, seventy three. Dash eighty eight. When there are two digit numbers, you need to compare with the tens place. Okay. Now when you compare with the tens place, if you see ones place, here eight is bigger than three. Here also eight is bigger than seven. That means what I told that big mouth will be open towards the bigger number. That means eight is bigger. No, eighty eight is bigger. So seven three is less. So write this sign. This big mouth is open towards. Bigger number that means you have to tell seventy three less than eighty eight. Okay, seventy three is less than eighty eight. Look at here. I told you know the sharp point is pointing towards the smaller number. Okay, this one is pointing towards the smaller number and big mouth is open towards the bigger number. Now look at here. Twenty five dash twenty. Your tens place both the numbers are same. So when you see the ones place here, you can make up five is the bigger number because zero you don't have value. So five is the bigger number. That means big mouth open towards the bigger number. So what you have to tell? Twenty five is greater than twenty. Okay, twenty is equal to twenty. Seventy three is less than eighty eight. Twenty five is greater than twenty. Now we'll see the Ascending and descending order. Write the numbers in ascending order. Here you have two digit numbers. You need to compare with the tens place or ones place. When you see tens place are same, so you need to co compare with the ones place. What do you mean by ascending order? Ascending order is nothing but smallest to the biggest number. Small number to the biggest number. So you have to first find out which is the smaller number. When you see all these five, five, five are same, but six is the biggest number. You need to compare with the smallest number. So here five, five, five. Tens place, all fives are same. So compare with ones place. Okay. When you compare with ones place, nine is biggest, eight is biggest. So zero is nothing. So that means fifty. You need to write five zero fifty first. That means this is the smallest number. This you finished. Now compare with this three. So here when you compare this three, six is the biggest. So compare with fifty nine and fifty eight. So five five is same. Compare with one place. That means nine is bigger. So you have to take smaller number. 
right 58 second now when you compare with these two yes 5 is smaller than 6 isn't it so 59 60 okay smallest to the biggest number now second one 67 65 60 63 when you see here your all 10 in 10th place all the numbers are same 6 6 6 6 so what you have to do you need to compare with the ones place okay compare with the ones place when you compare with the ones place here 7 is there 5 is there 0 3 so when you compare with the 7 5 0 3 yes 0 is a lesser your 60 you need to write 60 first this you finished now we compare with the 7, 5, 3. So 1, 7, 5, 3 which is the smallest number. 3 is the smaller number. So write 63 second place. Now this 2 you finish. Now you need to compare with this 2. So 7 and 5. Yes you know that 5 is lesser than 7. So write third place 65. Then 7 is the bigger. Last will come 67. 60, 63, 65 and 67. Ascending is nothing but smallest to the biggest number. Now, we will see write the numbers in descending order. What do you mean by descending order? Biggest to the smallest number. Now, you need to compare with the tens place. Now, you can see two digit means you can come. If it is tens place are same, then you can compare with the ones place. Now, when you see here, tens place, 8, 3, 4, 5 is there. Okay? So, in tens place, you can see that 8 is bigger than when compared to 3, 4, 5. So, first, 83 will come. Okay? 83. When you compare when the tens place, numbers are different. You can compare with the tens place. In tens place, if numbers are same, you can compare with the ones place. You finished 83. Now compare with 3, 4, 5. Yes. 5 is bigger than 4 and 3. Right. 50. Now compare with 3 and 4. Which is because 4 is the bigger number. Right. 48. Now last is 38. 83, 50, 48, 38. The descending order means biggest to the smallest. Now, look at here, two digit numbers. Now, in tens place, you can make out all numbers are different. Okay, so you can compare with the tens place. Now, when you compare with 7, 8, 5, 9, which is the biggest when compared to everything? Yes, 9 is the biggest number, right? 96 first. This you finished. Compare with this three. 7, 8, 5. Yes, 8. 8 is the biggest compared to 7, 9, 5. Right, 85. This you finish. Now compare with 7 and 5. Which is the biggest number? Yes, 7. So you need to write 71. Then last is 58. 96, 85, 71, 58. Descending order. Biggest to the smallest number. Now we will learn about cardinal and ordinal numbers. What do you mean by cardinal numbers? Cardinal numbers are counting numbers. The number that we use for counting is called as cardinal numbers. For example, 1, 2, 3, so on. Okay? Then what do you mean by ordinal numbers? Ordinal number defines the position or the order of something in a series. For example, first, second, third. Okay? I repeat once again. Cardinal numbers are counting numbers. The number that we use for counting. For example, 1, 2, 3, etc. Ordinal numbers defines in the position or order of a something in a series. For example, first, second, third, etc. Now we will see the example. Look at it. Cardinal and ordinal. Look at here. Elephant, goat, tree, uh, rabbit, dog and horse. Okay. So I have written for elephant 1, for goat 2, for rabbit 3, for dog 4 and for horse 5. Now I have written, look at here, elephant is standing at number 1. So you are counting, elephant is standing at number 1. He is in 
first in the queue so that is telling the position that means this is the ordinal and this is the cardinal goat is standing at number 2 he is second in the queue that means position okay rabbit is standing at number 3 he is third in the queue the position we are telling dog is standing at number 4 he is fourth in the queue now who is standing fifth in the queue you need to tell the position who is standing fifth yeah horse so you need to write your horse h o r s e okay so i will show you cardinal numbers are nothing but 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 okay ordinal numbers first you are telling the position order of the Uh, order of something in a series f i r s t first second s e c o n d second third t h i r d third fourth f o u r t h fourth fifth f i f t h fifth sixth s i x t h sixth seventh s e v e n t h seventh Eighth, e i g h t h. Eighth, ninth, n i n t h. Ninth and tenth, t e n t h. Tenth. Cardinal numbers are nothing but the or counting numbers. Okay, that we use for counting. Ordinal number defines what the position or a order of something in a series, like first, second, third. Now we'll see the sum of the ordinal ordinal number. Fill in the blanks. In the word mother, see here. In the word mother, M is in the dash position. Now M is in which position? I told you the position or order of a series of something is called as a something in a series called as a ordinal number. That means it is in the first right first. F I R S T first. Now in the word in the word. Rabbit. A is in the dash position. Where is A? A is here. You need to see which position, which order it is. So that means first, second. It is in a second, right? S E C O N D. Second. Understand, children? Hope you understand this session. We'll meet you in the next class.